we just filled the bag with goods because today we are going to climb Bukhansan. For those of you who don't know, Bukhansan is a mountain located here in Seoul, just north of the Gyeongbukgung Palace. And I have been requested a couple of times to go here and do a hike. So today we are headed for the Bagunde Peak, which is the highest point of the mountain. Let's head towards the mountain and start the adventure. Today is Friday the 10th November, which means it has only been five days since the Seoul Marathon. So I really hope that my body is ready for this hike because I'm not really sure how hard it is. But to be quite honest, I haven't been doing anything but resting and eating good food for the past five days. And my body feels really good at the moment, but I'm still cautious about not pushing the body too hard. We made it to the national park and this is here our journey begins. So as you can see, we are right here at the moment and then we are going to follow this orange trail all the way up there to the Bagun Day Peak. So let's get started with the adventure. Just look how beautiful this is. I'm confident this is going to be a great day. I just came across a temple on the way to the peak and I must admit I haven't really thought about any temples located here at the mountain but I guess it's a great place to have a temple and from here you can really see how beautiful the mountain is. Let's continue. So we had made quite some progress already. I think we started down here somewhere and now we moved to there. So we still have all that way up to go to the top of the peak. So I think we just entered the more specific trail for the Bakun Day peak because the hiking trail got a bit steeper at the moment. I didn't realize how far I had already climbed, but just look at that view. Already an incredible hike so far. Thank you. 
I just made it down from like the peak peak of the mountain and now I'm just chilling here in like a mid section because I just wanted to give you a update. So it was such an amazing view and still is but on the top it was so amazing. I do have to admit that I was pretty sketched out at some of the points because it was actually quite scary the way you had to climb up to the top because it's so steep and the rocks are pretty smooth so you are not like 100% stable and it is of course extremely steep going up but it is also so beautiful especially in this sunny weather it's such a nice day out and then after i was up at the very top with the south korean flag i went down one level and ate my lunch that i brought with me which was the two gimbab rolls and what a place to eat lunch it was so great and the gimbab rolls was of course also very delicious. I swear if we had those in Denmark I would probably eat too many of them. So now the plan is to head down and I think I will take the other route down to the other side of the mountain just to see how that route is. So I just think that we should get going. I just made it out of the steep terrain and I'm now just walking on regular road and I have a little over two kilometers to get to the subway station. I had such a great time climbing Bukhansan today and what a crazy experience it was. I would definitely recommend you to check it out if you feel like going on such an adventure. But I will say you have to have at least some kind of fitness to get to the top because the last part you are pretty much climbing more than you are walking which in my opinion just made the hike so much more fun because I like that sort of adventure but I think it's also nice to know before you go up there so just a little heads up from me besides that I have also decided that I wanted to celebrate our little hike with some Korean food and I know about one dish which is called jukbal which is braised pig feet and I haven't tried that yet so I would also like to try that which is why we are headed towards the subway because I'm pretty sure you can get it at the Grand Jang market which is also on the way home from here. So that's our next destination. I just left the Bukhansan National Park and when we started this morning I remembered to start the hike on my Garmin watch. So I just wanted to share a little bit about the stats. I did eight kilometers in four and a half hours and I had a pace of 34 minutes per kilometer so of course this wasn't a trip that was about the pace or anything I just think it's quite fun to look at and besides that we did just under 800 meters of ascending and descending so now I will just make my way down to the subway and then I will see you at the Grand Jiang market I just made it to the Grand Jiang market so let's head inside and see if we can find some jokbal
I just made it out of the market and I was successful in finding Jokbal. So the eating experience was quite interesting because it's a bit new to me to just eat pig's feet. But to be honest, it tasted pretty good. It was a bit fatty, but that was to be expected when you eat the skin off the feet. One thing that surprised me a bit was that it was served cold. But I guess when it's just laying there, there is no way of heating it. And I thought it was a fun thing to try. Even though there's a lot of other Korean street food I would much prefer. I'm glad that I tried it and now it's crossed off the list. So another amazing day here in Korea filled with a lot of great experiences. And now I only have one thing left to do, which is to wish you a great rest of the day. Take care.